Bobby Beats. Hey, how's it going? So today I thought I would introduce my new series, Aaron Shelton Raw. So what this is, this is gonna be the raw footage of me cooking. It's unedited. If I fuck up these, I'm cooking up some New York strip steaks. So if I fuck them up, I messed them up. And there's no editing, there's no movie magic going on. This is me, raw and uncut. So what I've done now, Carrie, if you come over here, my girlfriend Carrie has agreed to film me. I have got a big pan and I'm just hitting this with some medium high heat. So I'm gonna, while that pan is warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and season my steaks here. So these are just some New York strip steaks. So I'm gonna do nothing fancy, salt and pepper. So these have been sitting out for about half an hour before, because what happens is you don't wanna cook the steak right out of the fridge because it will be cold in the middle and it'll be warm on the outside so it won't cook evenly throughout the steak. So you want to bring them up to room temperature, 20 minutes, half an hour before you cook. So I put some steaks on, so now I'm just gonna rub that seasoning in with my hands here to make sure it gets in there. Just salt and pepper, nothing fancy. So now I'm gonna flip these. Notice I'm not using the hand that I touched the meat with to season so I don't get my salt and pepper shaker all gross. So I'm just hitting these with salt and pepper. That's all you need. Don't need anything fancy in this. So rubbing those in, rubbing that in, rubbing that in. Rubbing my sides here along the plate to get that nice seasoning all over the meat. Okay, so that's ready to go. Let me wash my hands real quick, Carrie. Put those steaks on the camera. Okay, so now my hands are washed. So now what I'm gonna do while this pan is heating up is I'm gonna chop up some garlic here. So these are just two cloves of garlic that I took off the head. So all I'm gonna do is bam, hit them with a smash, bam, hit them with a smash, get the skin off there. When you smash it, the skin comes off really easy. Now I'm just gonna hit it with a couple of chops through, and then I'm just gonna boom, 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 and just one more. There we go. That's some nice minced garlic. That's what we're gonna use to paste our steaks. So see how I have these little pieces of skin? So when you smash it, they come off really easy. So you don't have to you know, fuck with it and peel it for, like five, 10 minutes, okay. So there's that. Just gonna give my hands a quick little wash with a paper towel here because they get a little sticky dealing with the garlic. So now I just got a couple of tablespoons of butter here. And then the last thing in my assembly, I got a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use these three to base the steaks in. So let's see how our oven's doing. So it's pretty warm right now. So I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of olive oil and just kind of run that along the pan there. You should see it start to kind of shimmer before you cook the steaks. So you think that's shimmering? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so, okay. So let's just run I'm not the expert. Again here, Nate. Neither am I, I'm an amateur cook. I never once claim to be a professional. I do this for fun. <laughs> so let's get all our assembly items here. No. Oh. While we're waiting for everything. I just want, don't need a ton, just a couple of sprigs of this fresh thyme in there. It'll be nice. That's gonna give it a nice scent and a nice fragrance to it. So, okay, so let's hit it with these steaks now. So, just got a pair of tongs. So this is the test. I got a little piece here. This is the test when you start cooking. You wanna hear that sound. If you don't hear that sound, don't start cooking yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form a nice crust 
on these steaks here. So they're just gonna go on. And this is a nice little piece I like to keep. I chop this piece off. This piece I can cut through freely so I can know when it's how done it is. So let me just cut that on there. So now these are gonna just cook. I'll turn the heat down just a little. And now we're just gonna wait. Video, if anyone asks, I'm washing my hands when I do something that I'm going to do. So these are going to cook. So I just want to cook them for a few minutes on each side. So Carrie, can you move the camera down to where my hand is? So right here, I want to see that brownness kind of come up to about a third of the way, a half, a third of the way, somewhere in there before I flip it. So that way I'll know a nice crust is on there. So these are just going to cook up for a little bit. You can already see that the brownness is starting to creep up there on the side. So we'll just kind of let that go about a third of the way up, and then we'll flip. And then I'm going to render down the fat. So this cut here is for Carrie. I chopped off a lot of that fat beforehand because she doesn't like it. But Carrie, get around here, will you? My side's got some fat there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that against the side of the pan to kind of render that down so that it's not fully on there, this gelatinous piece, when you're eating it. So I'm going to let those go a little bit still. You can see here, got some nice color in there. The key is to not move your steaks a lot because you want that nice crust to fit. So people are on here. They always are wanting to fuck with it. They're wanting to move it around, move it around. No, so let it sit there and get a nice sear on it. So then when you flip it, you'll get a good crust. So usually uh, a method that's good here is kind of cooking it in the pan and then finish it off in the oven. We Our cast iron is dirty right now and I didn't really feel like cleaning it. So we can't really do that. So this is just gonna, we're just gonna pan sear. So. These are, see, so see Carrie, pan over there. See that brownness is starting to work its way up. So I'm gonna flip these here. I think I'll flip them now. So let's have a look. So that, that's a nice sear on there. So I'm gonna flip these bad boys. That's a tremendous sear. So now what I'm gonna do with this guy here is I'm gonna render that fat down. So I kind of just, put them up against the pan here and just kind of let that fat cook for a little bit just to kind of cook it down a little bit so it's not all raw and gelatinous on there so i kind of like to use the side of the pan for this kind of just using the whole pan to my advantage so that's nice and cooked okay so now i'm going to flip this guy too so now i'll just do a little bit of the same on this one here So just making sure all the sides are cooked. So now those are gonna sit on there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my butter. So I'm going to close this machine. Now I'm gonna add my butter here. So I'm just gonna add it in this little pocket here. And then I'm gonna let that melt down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna baste this steak with this butter and then this garlic and then this thyme mix here. So just give me a sec to do that. So it's starting to smell good. Here, you think it's starting to smell pretty good in here? Oh yeah. Okay. So now that butter's melting up nice. So let me turn the heat up a little bit more just so I can baste here easily. So, this is a technique that's pretty common. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an expert at it yet, but I'm getting there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these butter bits, I'm just gonna move them here to the other side of the steak. Then I'm gonna pop in my garlic. So this is where the steak 
is gonna just start to take a totally different flavor. I'm gonna pop in this thyme here, and I'm gonna let those roast. Now, Carrie, please comment on the smell in here once this thyme starts to roast. So now, let me just look at roast for a second in there, and now I'm gonna start to baste. So, just like that, boom, boom, boom. Just let it baste. You just want that butter and just hit it up there. That way you're getting that nice butter flavor and that garlic flavor onto the top of the steaks. And then it's gonna cook on the bottom because the butter's gonna sit on the bottom. So let that base go on there. And now we're cooking again. And we're just gonna let these sit in that butter sauce with that garlic and thyme. And we're just gonna let those finish up. So there we go. So if a couple cloves get on top, that's cool. I might hit them. I might hit it with another base here. So there we go. Nice and I'm a master baster. So there we go. So let those cook up. Those are coming out nice. So there we go. We're gonna just so the key here is now you look at your hands, okay? Right here, don't do anything. You feel your hand meat there, that's raw. You do it right there, that's rare. You do it right there, that's medium rare, that's well done. So we want our steaks to kind of be in that rare to medium rare area. So like between this and this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the steaks- Show it again, I didn't really see. Right here is, that's raw. Okay. That's medium rare. That's, that is uh, medium and that's well done. Okay. So this is rare, this is medium rare. So we want our steak to kind of feel like this right here or this right here, kind of between them. So then what we can do is we can let our steak rest for about 10 minutes and then we can let it come up to the temperature. So we want to cook it a little bit below that temperature. So let's go ahead and start to feel this. So I you, I wash my hands. So my hands are clean while I'm doing this, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this. Give it a feel. So that is, see my finger? It is just going right in there, so it's not done yet. So that is, this feels a little more done than this one. So I'll pull this one here in a minute. Probably give it one more flip. Let's see how the other side's looking. Oh, very good. So, ah. that's, sorry, that's got a nice crust on it. So now that's got a decent crust on it too. So, gonna let these continue to cook. So, this is this guy's about done. This guy needs a little bit more. So I'll probably pull him now. I'm gonna pull him now, and I'll probably give him another minute on another probably thirty seconds to a minute on each side. So just put that there. So he's got good color. He's got good texture. I'm pulling him. That's pulled. This guy is getting up there. I'm gonna turn up the heat on the pan because I want that sear there. I don't have the color that I like on there yet. So, we're just gonna let him finish. And I'm just trying to develop more of a crust. So see how he has a little bit more of a crust than he does? So I'm just trying to get a little bit more of a crust on there. You can see he's actually kind of coming up to the temperature I want him now. So, I'm just gonna let that go. So I'm on a high heat now. So this, that crust is getting there on this side here. So I kind of like the way that one looks. So now I'm just going to let this go, and then I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes. So once he gets the color on him that I like, then I'm going. So I like the way he feels right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull him, actually. He's got some decent color on there. So. These are good. These are gonna rest up for about 10 minutes and then we'll see how they look. Well, well, okay, so just go ahead and cut. <laughs> okay guys, so I got my uh, little tripod set up here. So here's the steak. So I'm gonna cut into this. I'm really fucking nervous. I'm worried I might have overcooked it a little. So I'm just gonna cut right through the center here. And that, oh my God, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. That is a perfect medium 
rare. So that's a good looking steak. So there we go, guys. It looks like I got it done. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at Carrie's. So we'll see how Carrie's turned out. So we'll take a look at Carrie's here. This one might be a little more cooked than mine is. But yeah, so that is a little bit more cooked. Actually, you know what, it came out okay. So there it is. That's a nice medium rare too. A little bit, little bit more towards medium, but it's got that nice pink center. So there we go, that worked out. So hope you guys liked the new videos. I'll, I'll post it up and we'll see. So that was my uh, uncut video yesterday of me cooking those steaks so um you know you know i think they came out okay i think i probably would have put a little bit more color on mine and i would have put a little bit more of a sear on carries so other than that they were they were really good you know the basting technique is really great with that that thyme that butter that garlic they just give it a lot of great flavor into that steak and then letting them rest is important Letting them warm up to room temperature before you cook them and letting them rest is very important. So, yeah, that's my that's my uh, raw, Aaron Shelton raw. So, let me know if you like it. So, yeah, I've got a, got a couple requests to do a steak, so I finally had some time to sit down and record it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. All right.